Okay, here we are in the hallway. I've made this trip a few times in the last couple of months. But that's my access hole into the attic. So here we go. Uh, I've spent a lot of hours up in this attic in the last couple of months. Uh, but, right here, this deck, they don't look that clean, okay? Uh, I, I spent special attention about 10 minutes ago up in sweeping it. But, uh, that line right there you see, I'll get closer to it, but I'm just doing you a quick overview. That line right there is a six inch line. And, uh, I'll get up higher on the ladder, but I just got my head through the hole. We're going to follow that line. I'm going to show you, uh, what I ran. That line is probably going to be at least 35 feet long, 30 feet long. And it's a cob job. Uh, it's combination galvanized six inch pipe, uh, insulated, uh, alligator, uh, and then I had the dryer vent pipe, that kind of dryer vent pipe that you can extend. I didn't extend it. Whatever it came with, six feet I left it. But right, right now you're looking at this uh, catwalk. It looks clean because I swept it. But that catwalk it, at the end is, and you'll see that duct at the end. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. There it is. If I stand up above the hole, you won't be able to see that duct. That's why I'm zoomed in on it now. I might go back there, but there it is. That goes into that vent that was on the right side of uh, the uh, wall unit. I put a vent in there yesterday. It goes there, and now I'm going to go further up and get inside. That's why I wanted to shoot it from down in the hole, so you could see uh, that, that duck down there. You have to move very slow up here, wherever you step. Okay, we're going to back off the telephoto. All right, there we are. These lights you see hung up here, that one right here, that string of lights. That was that sale about three weeks ago at Harbor Freight. You got 12 lights and a string. It was like 19 bucks. And, uh, but three of them don't work. But anyway, there's the, uh, there's the ducting. I've got it hung up with this webbing, this black plastic webbing that I stapled to the studs. In the background there you see, uh, the antenna for the TV. We don't have cable TV here. We have antenna. She gets about 70 stations. Uh, so, <clears throat> continue along with the duct. Here we are. Uh, we're following it along. I got done, just got done spending about an hour up here sealing up everything. Uh, there's a layer of insulation along the duct. Where you see that wire going into the... Uh, uh, the sheathing underneath there is the junction box on the, on the motor. That motor, uh, I've turned it on, it's working, it's quiet, it's pulling air. I don't know if it's going to be enough air, but it's pulling air. And there, it goes over to there, okay? Like I said, that's about 35 feet of run. And that catwalk was about two weeks of work on and off. I started all this about two months ago. Uh, I made a video out in my uh, uh, driveway where I sort of had a schematic of what I wanted to do. The only thing I've changed is I was going to put two vents at the end by the inside unit and I decided to go one. That's why it was out there laying on the garage floor for me to show you. Now I'm going to get a little closer and show you what I did out of here. All right. <clears throat> I 
those two uh, stacks right there that are coming out, that box I showed you, see it's buried. But those two lines are six inch lines, flexible, they have the pink insulation. Uh, and they went up to this elbow right here. You see one coming in from the other side, I have to put that, I can't get there, I'll try to get it on the camera just by getting it over there. There's another one coming from the other side into the elbow right there. So, uh, to explain, the one on the left that's coming out of uh, the master bedroom, the one on the right is coming out of the second bedroom which is being used as an office right now. Computer room, office, whatever. Second bedroom if needed. Uh, but the one on the left has an open vent. It's open all the time. The one on the right has a vent you can open and close. So in the summertime at night, uh, my logic is she closes the door to the second bedroom. She closes the vent. Now all the air is being pulled from her master bedroom. And it's being circulated back to the indoor unit. The reason I did this job, I guess I should explain how uh, these mini splits work. But the big problem in selling these to the local market here in Phoenix, I was, ex uh, the, uh, Servicemen explained to me, everybody wants central air here. The challenge with putting that one unit in the living room is how do you circulate uh, the, uh, the air? How do you get the air to the back bedroom? That's why I put this in here. Uh, now she has a switch. I'll, I'll stop here. We're going back down through the hole, but I probably shouldn't have made this today. I'm a little played out. This has been a long haul. I'm glad it's done. I just want to be able to close this up, do a little painting in the next day or two, and be done with this job. Uh, like I said, I started it two months ago. This is a celebration. I want to share it with you. Uh, and I'm going to give you a little more layout of the house here what I did to try to improve uh, convection air, circulation. Uh, I feel the more air circulation you have, the better mix you're gonna have. But hopefully this system, uh, well, I'll stop here.